energy consumption example one. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the running costs of certain appliances and it's telling us the electricity costs 52 cents per kilowatt hour. I just got this off the internet as of 2019. So this is a current price for 2019. So question A says, uh, let's say you're running a washing machine over a whole year's period that uses 399 kilowatt hours. How much has this washing machine cost you in electricity? So all we do is we take the 399 and we multiply it not by 52, but by 0.52. We want to put it in dollars. It makes your life a lot easier. So 399 times 0.52 is $207.48. So if you always use warm wash on your washing machine, it's going to cost you about $200 over a year's time. Okay, next one. Um, a 2.1 kilowatt heater that has been running for three hours. So what we're going to do is we know it's 2.1 kilowatts, but we're going to times it by three, giving us 6.3. And that means it's used 6.3 kilowatt hours. You've got to multiply the kilowatts by the number of hours it was used. Now we can take the 6.3 and times it by the amount, which is $0.52. So a heater just, that's just been running for three hours would cost about $3.28. We've corrected two decimal places. That's just for six hours. All right, question C, a 10-watt bulb that was left on every day for a year. Okay, so we often hear parents say, don't leave the lights on. Well, what, how much would it cost if it was left on every day for a year? All right, so we've got 10 watts, and if we leave it on every hour of a day, we times it by 24, and because there's 365 days in a year, we times by 365. Let's see what we got. 10 times 24 times 365 comes out to 87,600. Now, before you freak out, that's in watts and all of these need to be in kilowatts so it's actually 87.6 kilowatts all right now uh actually sorry i need to write kilowatt hours because we took into consideration the amount of time it's been running for all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take 87.6 the number of kilowatt hours used and we're going to times it by 0.52 dollars. 87.6 times 0.52 comes out to $45.55. That's how much it would cost to run an LED bulb every day for a year. All right, question D. This is our tricky one. An iPhone that uses 5 watts while it is charging and takes about two hours and 40 minutes to charge. All right, so this is going to be a minuscule amount. All right, now we know it's five watts and we've got to multiply it by the amount of time it's been running for. It's a little challenging because it says two hours and 40 minutes, but I'm going to say, well, 40 minutes is the equivalent of two thirds of an hour. So I'm going to do 5 times 2 and 2 thirds. All right, 5 times 2. I'm just going to do this on my calculator. 2 plus 2 thirds equals. And it came out and gave me 13.3 continuous watts. So it's a 3 that goes on forever put the little dot there. Now that's remembering that, it, oh sorry, what hours because we've incorporated time. Now it needs to be in kilowatt hours which means we've got to divide by a thousand so it's really 0 0.013 continuous kilowatt hours. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go 0 0.013, I mean as many threes as you can fit in your calculator, times the amount which is 0 0.52 
333, lots of threes, times 0.52, and it comes out to a really, really small amount. Um, it's 0 0.01. In fact, we're going to round it to one to two decimal places, and it would actually come out as one cent. In fact, it's actually smaller than a cent to charge your phone. 